Three months. I have made you wait three months since part three. And y'all still coming back, baby. I mean, if that's not the definition of a, a freaking simp, then I mean, I don't know what is, man. The previous episode was all about enchanting. All right, now hopefully by now, I had hoped so, you got some god tier armor tools and overall just looking like you're freaking bullying. The first thing that we're going to be doing this episode, however, is getting a little wool farm going. Now, given the average dimensions of a sheep, okay, the fit will be a little bit tight. But no worries, just trust me on this. They'll be fine. Give them some wheat. Take them on a walk every once in a while. The main purpose in this wool farm is to get some beds going. What we are going to be doing in the first part of this episode is going for ancient debris and making that into netherite. Now, much like the Galaxy Note 7, all right, these bad boys are explosive. These only blow up in the nether. Now, if this is taking a while, here are some easy ways to speed up the process of bed making. All right, exhibit A, just shear every sheep you see. All right, exhibit B, you can ramp up production a little bit. Exhibit C, you can just walk into your local mattress firm. No sponsor. Exhibit um, the last one. All right, you can just put it in a slash game mode one. And like, look, you can literally just grab that. There's a plentiful selection right here that you could just grab it from. Once you get a couple of beds, around 15 is a good start. Head to the nether. You're going to want to go to layer 15. But be careful because lava can spawn relatively anywhere lower than nether. So, uh, yeah, make a long tunnel. Decently long. In the tunnel walls, you want to mine as far as you can reach and place a bed down as far back as possible. Do not break the bottom blocks or else you will die when you try to sleep. Now, try to sleep and the bed will blow up. Do this every eight blocks and you will be able to maximize ancient debris finding. It takes four ancient debris and four gold to make an ingot, then which you can put into a smithing table and upgrade whatever you want with the netherite. Continue this as you want, grind it all out in one sesh, or just do a couple things, couple pieces of armor, your pickaxe, you know, whatever. The essentials, baby. But I like getting this done quick and early, out of the way at the beginning of the game, so you ain't gotta worry about it. Hold on a second. Do you like money? Because I like money. I think we all like money. Money's cool, but can't buy happiness. But what it can buy. But the thing is, is that you don't need to buy anything. All that you need to do is go to the description and click on the link. Yeah, that's right. Go to the description and download Monster Legends through the link. Because you basically get $30 for free. Monster Legends is free to play. All right, now come on. Y'all know how to be out here. You know, get it for free, save for that degree. You know, so on. Also, it is available on both iOS and Android because we don't freaking discriminate there are also hundreds of different monsters to collect you can find many of your favorite youtubers in monster legends as well dream laser beam mr beast your boy grim you can breed two monsters to get a new one to make out a baby and much like my parents did you can make some freaking ridiculously smart and amazing and dashingly handsome offspring now one of the most important things you have to do is feed your monsters before you take them into battle you can level up and evolve your monsters by giving them the big eats there are also many different pvp modes special dungeons and maps for you to explore and battle for seemingly endless possibilities i mean it's a great game for when example you're waiting for my next upload or a text back. You can fight in real time against your friends in Monster Legend. There are also events every week to discover and play new adventures. You can download the game through the link in the description and get a special reward worth $30, 50,000 food, the epic monster, and 300,000 gold. Make sure to check the description, click the link, download the app, and let's get back into the video, baby. What we're gonna be doing now, however, is starting to look for the stronghold. In order to find it though, you will need to kill a decent amount of endermen, blazes, maybe even your sleep paralysis team. Now once you get around 12 or more ender pearls, you will need a blaze powder to go along with it. Each blaze rod will make two powders. These create eyes of ender. With these, you can find the stronghold. I'd recommend making more than 12 however, because sometimes they will disappear into the air. Keep throwing them with the place button and following them wherever they go. Eventually, it will actually disappear into the ground. Dig into the ground around that area and search for the stronghold. A simple trick to dig straight down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. A simple way to dig straight down is standing between two blocks and digging one side and then making sure it's safe and then digging straight down on the other side. Once you're in, there's loot, 
rooms, and the end portal. Loot as you please, take the knowledge, buy a lamb, and loot to Switzerland. Your main goal is to find the end portal. When you get there, there will be a silverfish spawner. Freaking nah. Also, try not to hit those silverfish, all right? They're very protective about the family members, all right? Causes more to spawn. If you light them on fire, though, with a flint and steel, uh, they don't care as much. Careful not to fall in the portal, all right? Before you put the eyes in, there's just lava. Or after you put the eyes in, you're not ready yet. Place the eyes in a circular motion around the end portal, and you should see it light up. At this point, you got a couple options. A, you could go in. B, you could prepare. C, you could come back tomorrow. D. Take the knowledge, buy a Lambo, move to Switzerland, get a new name. If the end portal is far away, you can make another tunnel similar to the skeleton farm. Now for the sake of the video, we going in, baby. Pause the video, hold up. All right, some things that may help you on your journey. All right, the golden apple. All right, you could experiment with some potions. Make sure you have feather falling. You need a bow with infinity. All right, just trust me, or at least a lot of arrows. Probably a couple stacks of blocks in case you suck with your bow. Um, not sucking or paying your older brother to do it for you. All right, soldier, so once you cross enemy lines, you will either be spawned into a box or you will be spawned in the middle of nowhere. Either way, your end goal is to get here. Just a tip, don't look at the enderman. A way to prepare for angry endermen, however, is to make a little two by two, two block tall shelters. Endermen cannot hit you underneath them. Now, on the top of the obsidian pillars, there are end crystals. These are explosive. Highly explosive. Use your bow and arrow to destroy them. Aim a little bit above the crystals every single time you shoot, and it should have no problem hitting them. However, there are two that are guarded. You will have to climb up and destroy them yourself. Here's a simple way of doing that. Do not touch the crystal with your pickaxe as a matter of fact just don't touch the crystal okay once the crystals are destroyed you can now kill the ender dragon continue to not look at endermen when killed this drops a significant amount of cloud points as well as a dragon egg don't touch it all right don't touch it briefly cover up the exit portal and use your piston to break the egg you may now go back home or go end rating however at this point you have quote unquote beat minecraft in the way that Mojang had originally created. However, I know something that you haven't beat yet. All right, Monster Legends, baby, because there are hundreds of different monsters to collect and we literally talking about free money in the description. $30, $30, bro. You know what I can buy with $30? 30 McChickens, check it out.